Hey everyone, it's Siren Frost again, and this time today I'll be doing a secondary deck profile. I decided to do at least try at least do two deck profiles back to back. Um, not back to back, but um, just because I want to really show you guys an update and then get all this prepared until the next the newer stuff comes out. So, but this is gonna be a deck profile of a debut that I've never thought in a million years I'd be doing, but it's great nature. Now, back in the back in the day, I was bad talking about Great Natures and how OP they really are and just got really super salty over them. At least I can admit that, you know. But after realizing that Great Nature is kind of a kind of simple to understand, even the new mechanics are really good. It's basically, um, the new mechanic is like a lottery. You just give a game a chance kind of thing. And I think they did that in the last series of Great Nature. I don't know. But this is going to be a deck profile featuring um, Isabel. The main, um, my main boss in here is Isabel. So, and I'm pretty sure, maybe in the future, Isabel might get a new ability or a new look or a new power. I don't know. But let's, enough now yapping, let's just try to dive right into this video. To the best of my abilities before I go completely cuckoo after a long day. For my starting vanguard, it's Jack Ink, Jet Ink Fox. I just love foxes i think animals are really cute and i have a dog so you know i'm pretty much an animal lover from there forth um so for trigger lineup it's just the same as my pale moon one it's a rainbow not the gay one but the rainbow i'm playing four copies of Dic dictionary goat and for oh wait i got these completely backwards my bad guys Alright, and then four drop PGs, I finally got cable sheeps, which is very difficult for me to get these days because some of the guys at my locals are playing Great Nature and they already got their place with these guys. So the fact that this is, I have extra copies of these, perfect. I play four copies of Triangle Cobras. And I think the most, the joke is the comedy, comedic one for this one is four front triggers and it's Castanet Donkey. Donkey! Well, I don't know where that came from. Jesus Christ. Um, so, like I said, it's a rainbow um, trigger lineup for right now. I was thinking about probably trying 12 crits or um, 4 draws, 4 heals, and 8 crits. But we'll just see. Like I said, you guys, right now I'm just following the, the guidelines to XL and see what happens. For grade 1s, we're playing the main um, the main grade 1, Proffer of Black Jet to Seal. When place as... Uh, when play Soul Blast one card and turn the top card of your deck, um, put the top card of your deck into a drop zone, and the, the effects fall applies. <clears throat> um, perform one of the following effects. Okay, I'm just going to read this from, from here on out. Uh, normal unit. Soul Charge one, and this unit gets plus 5,000 power at the end of that turn. Trigger unit. Draw two cards and discard two cards from your hand. So this will help you get rid of some... Um, unnecessary cards that you don't really want and what the hell is that in, in there Ugh, whatever i'll have to look through it later so yeah four seals four um monoculus tigers i finally got my place set of these guys from a friend at my locals now the only thing i will confess um what i'm missing here is i'm missing two more leopolds and a cop I have one copy of Binoculus Tiger, but I want a full playset of them before I get this deck fully powered. For right now, it's like at 50%. But I'm going to read his effect, because I'm still trying to remember how to do this. Okay. Vanguard Rear Guard Auto Skill. When it attacks or boosts a rear guard, Carablast 1, put the top card of your deck into a drop zone and perform one of the following effects. Norm one of the following effects. Uh, depending on the type. A normal unit, you your opponent cannot call your Sentinels from his or her hand. And to end that battle, trigger unit. Your opponent can only call trigger units from his or her hand to end that battle. So one effect can call off no cannot perform cannot prevent can prevent sentinels. The other one can only use triggers. That's not too bad. I think that's kinda cool. Um for next grade one, for the last grade ones actually, because it's like the only deck I know that plays uh twelve crit or not twelve crits, twelve grade ones. And that is four copies of Silver Wolf. As long as this little this little guy is in the back, he gets plus four thousand power. So that's continuous. 
So I think that's pretty awesome to have because, you know, the more power boost in the back row than anything is more aggressive. And beasts are very notorious for their um, aggressive activities. So there's that. For grade twos, I think we're also playing 12 crits. Not 12. Why are you? Okay. I need therapy. I need to go to a therapist and say like, hi, I have a 12 crit addiction. Um, so I was playing for grade two. We're playing four copies of Matilda, and her her effect is really like really good. I don't care what anyone says. People prefer um the other one better over her, but I think she's awesome. Vanguard Rearguard and plays Cabas one with the top card. So I'll just read, read the lottery she has. Normal unit until the end of, until the end of turn when your opponent would call cards from hand to Guardian Circle for the battle. This card attacked. Oh, when your opponent would call cards from hand to guard for that battle, this unit attacked. He or she must call two or more at the same same time. Trigger unit. This unit gets plus one critical. Okay, I need to really just speak and slow down a little bit on that. <laughs> for um, the next one, we got our lovable panda, Geograph Giant. As long as he's an additional in an XL marker, this unit gets plus six. Is it 6,000? Nope, 8,000. Okay, my bad. So 8,000 power. And then finally for grade 2, we're playing something that I don't think people may may, may want to play, but I'm using it anyways. Four Boar Code Zebras. I don't, like I said guys, he's only a temporary host until um, I get by, by knocking his tigers. So, that's the only reason why he's in here. And his effect is not really as crucial as you think it is. Uh, when your card is put into your deck, from your deck to your drop zone, this unit gets plus 5,000 power. And so whenever a card goes into the zone, he gets plus an additional 5,000 power. So that's not really a bad thing. And it's not a one-turn effect, so you can do this, like, multiple times to get more power boosts. And so far, if, I, if there's anything I knew from watching Great Nature's um, back in the day, they rely so much on power as well. Same as Dimension Police. Or is that only with Dayusha? I think it's with Dimension Police in general. <clears throat> Next for grade threes, we're playing our 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 main boss. Four copies of Holy Black, Holy Great Sage of Blacks, <sighs> Black Shadows Isabel, and her effects are different. So her continuous effect is Vanguard. If your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, you perform both the effects for perform of the of the effects. So she can activate both depending on the order you wish. When place Cataplast one. Effects achieved. Normal unit. This unit gets plus 15,000 power in that battle. In a turn. Trigger unit. Return that card from the deck. To, put from the deck to the drop zone by this effect to your hand. And of course, as long as she's on the field and your opponent has a grade 3 or greater vanguard, you can activate both the effects, and that goes for all of them. So, she's just a, a great sage, I guess. And for a beautiful fox, too. So, if you're all probably like thinking right now, I think you're all probably gonna get the idea like who actually ran this deck. It's um Ezuka. Ezuka from Vanguard uh Shinemon Nita. And I think she's the main reason why I play these because she's considered considered my favorite female uh un favorite unit. And that's kinda why. For two we're playing uh two Leopolds and three of the um, daring scientists Mori Martin. So this is our grade 3 lineup at the current moment. And if for most of you guys who probably don't know what this, what this one does, I'll read it to you. Vanguard, Rearguard, we're in place. Counterblast and Soul Blast 1. Put the top card, um, Lottery, Normal Unit. Your opponent cannot intercept until the end of the turn. Trigger Unit. Retire all of your opponent's Rearguards in the same column as this unit. The fuck? What is that? Okay, that's a little, that little yuki, the yuki stiff kind of thing. Okay, but yeah, <clears throat> that is my monster lineup. And then as my other, like my Pale Moon, I'm playing six XL one markers. Um, this time we got the shiny ones just because they look, they look really kind of cool and I can never say no to that. And I already got a playset, so Isabel gained the holographics. And of course we're playing one quick shield card. Most of my decks are now incorporating uh, quick shields, 
It's my first time actually playing them, so we'll just see how that goes. <sighs> but anyways, guys, that concludes the deck profile of the deck that I never thought in a million years that I would actually start playing, but I ended up starting doing it anyways, just because, you know, I mistreated um, Great Nature so badly, and I decided, you know what, let's give them a chance and see how they play, and, you know, let's see what happens. Because I... I will always have a huge hatred for the kind of meta decks we have right now, like Royal Paladin, um, Royal Paladin, uh, everything in Dragon Empire, basically, Mega Colony, Bermuda Triangle, Aqua Force, and I'll pretty soon do a, a deck profile of Grand Blue once the Night Rose comes out. So I'm excited for that as well. But in the meantime, this is the deck profile I'm giving you guys today. There'll be a full deck list in the description down below. And I'll see you guys next video. Be sure, to, be sure to subscribe, like this video, thumbs up for it, comment down below. And again, guys, thanks for watching and thanks for all your love and support. So, And maybe in a few days after I get the, all these deck profiles uh, done, I'll be doing my very first blog, blog episode after a long hiatus. So, And I'll tell you guys some updates about what's been going on in my life and you know, just give you guys complete updates and all the shindigs. So anyways, have a good day, you guys. Stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the video. Bye, guys.